In this video I'm going to cover how to download data from the free BMD website. This is Birth, Marriages, and Deaths from the UK. The website is located at freebmd.org.uk and once you've reached the website go ahead and click search. We need to restrict the amount of data that we download from this website. We can only download 3,000 records at a time. So we need to pick one particular kind of records we need to pick a particular district and we're also going to limit to one particular quarter from the year that we're interested in. So I'm going to download marriages and I'm going to download for March 1861 to March 1861. Now notice that these are quarters ending in March, in June, in September, in December. So these are a quarter of a year worth of data at a time. We're going to leave the volume and page numbers alone. We want all of the data for this period of time that's marriages. We'll click mono which helps us get unique records in case there are any duplicates in there and I'm going to download this first quarter of data from Kensington. Now you'll notice that sometimes there will be two record lines for a particular civil parish. Here Kensington to June 1981 and Kensington and Chelsea which were combined in 1981 so from there on the data is available only in a combined form. Obviously we want Kensington by itself prior to 1981, 1861 being prior to 1981. We don't need to worry about any of the rest of this information. If you want to know if you'll be able to download all of this, it's a little bit faster to click count first. We see that we have 717 records. That's easily going to fit within the time period that we have. In fact, I can revise the query and see if I can get the June records as well. Do another count. 1652, I probably can't get the records for the whole year. So I'll go ahead and click find at this point. And this will take a couple of minutes to come back. How much time depends on how many records you're getting, internet speed, speed of the website, which has to do with how much traffic is on the website. And here's our list of records. Now, these are marriage records. We won't always see both partners in the marriage in this record. Here we have Alan Ansel and Eliza Ansel, and they could very well be the same people, but we're seeing them in the district that they were, uh, were from when they got married, so we're not always going to see both partners. Presuming that this is the information that we want, we want to use the download button here, and this gives us the option to save the file. I'm saving my files into a particular directory to make them easy to find, and I'm going to give it a name, Marriages. March and June 1861 and Kensington so that I remember what data I've got here. Go ahead and save. Now when I look at this data I have a preview mode because this is Windows 7 and there's some header information that I'm going to need to get rid of. So I'm going to, I just did a right click and open with, and I want to open this just in a plain text editor. That will be the easiest way to deal with this. I'm going to remove this header information from the top. And in case you're wondering, uh, ours is a private website, so we don't need to worry about the um, permission on this data yet, but I am going to be investigating that to make sure that we are in compliance. So we'll take out those lines down to event, quarter, year, etc., because those are the headers for the columns. That was eight lines that we took out there and we'll take out another four lines below that and now we have a very clean start. So we have event, marriages, quarter, March, year, 1861 and this will go all the way down and we'll see further down in the file it switches over to June. Now at the very bottom of this file there's another block of text that we need to remove. So we'll go ahead and take that out as well and then I'm going to save this file as same file name but dot 
CSV for comma separated values at the end. This is actually a tab separated value file, but it, this is a, an extension that makes it easy for the website to understand. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then we can close this. In the next video, I'll show you how to upload that file.